this morning. 614, many of us are enjoying the warm weather and firing up the grill this week, but health experts warn the summer season is the time they see more cases of food poisoning. Don Champion has more on what you can do to protect your family. It's the time of year for cookouts and barbecues. But the summer months may bring more than warm weather if you aren't careful. Because of hot, humid temperatures and because folks are often away from the kitchen at picnics and cookouts, foodborne illness may actually increase. Harmful bacteria can actually multiply more quickly when it's hot outside. The USDA says to stay safe, clean your hands before prepping food, keep raw food separate from cooked, cook everything to a safe internal temperature, and chill food promptly and properly. Whether you're grilling in the backyard or barbecuing in a professional smoker, experts say using a food thermometer is the best way to make sure everything is cooked thoroughly, yet only a third of Americans use one. 165 is usually a preferred temperature that you're going to want to get there. George Moore is a pit master at a Dallas area smokehouse. He showed us how to get a good read. Uh, but you want to stick it into the fattest part of the meat, which is going to be where you can get the most accurate reading of your internal temp. You actually can't tell by looking at it if it's reached a safe internal temperature. And that magic number is really the only way to be sure that you've killed any bacteria that might be present. The USDA also reminds that anything perishable should usually not sit out for more than two hours. But in temperatures over 90 degrees, nothing should be left out for more than an hour. Don Champion, CBS News, Dallas.